Hey guys, in this video I will talk about Go High Level Agency setup. Once you get your free trial account created by going to the high level website or you can just go to the link in this video's description and you'll get a 30 day free trial. So if you want to get a 30 day trial instead of a 14 day trial, you can use that link and then sign up for a trial account. You will be given two options. One is $97 per month, which allows you three sub accounts and sub accounts is where all the magic happens. Like, you know, everything uh, high level can do like funnel building, appointment booking, all those stuff, all those automation stuff can be created or needs to be created under sub accounts. So you get three sub accounts, basically three businesses can be managed with that $97 per month feature. In $297 per month, you get un uh, unlimited sub accounts. So as many sub accounts as you need to create. Um, and you know, once you sign up for that, just you know, sign up here and then give your card details. You won't be charged today. If you sign up, uh, you'll get your agency account created. And then you need to go through a few things. Now, this is a document I created a few months back. This covers everything that you need to do. This is basically the entire process of setting up the Go High Level Agency account, right? This uh, th this has all the all the things that need to be done after right after you get the free trial account. Okay. We will go through this that will make our lives easier and then this document is totally accessible you just need to go to my website and then you need to go under free resources go to 10 point go high level agency setup checklist fill out the form i'll send it to you okay with that being said let's go to the document first things first we need to go to the agency level setting so this is the agency account once you log into your high level after you get your free trial you need to come here and then this is the agency level you need to go to settings Agency level is basically what controls the sub accounts. So as many sub accounts you, as you can have, the agency level controls everything. Uh, we will look into what gets controlled from the agency level. So don't worry. We need to go to the agency level settings first, and then we need to go under company and then make sure all these information are correct because these are your agency settings. Uh, you know, these are your agency information. So if you are trying to sell high level or if you are, you know, using high level to using high level for multiple businesses these are the agency level settings that will be you know or can be displayed uh, in many places so you need to make sure these are correct okay then secondly you need to go under white label and you need to upload a logo here which will be 350 pixels by 180 pixels so once you upload the logo that will replace this high level small logo that you can see here and that is very important especially if you are selling high level to other people so get the logo uploaded here and make sure all the basic details on, for your agency or your company is correct. Okay, if you do that, the agency level settings are done. So it, it's really easy to do. Secondly, you need to configure white label and API domain. So let me just explain what a white label and API domain is. You are logged in under app.gohighlevel.com and the idea is to personalize your account as much as you can because if we are selling it, it needs to come up as our own CRM instead of being high level, right? That's the whole point of white labeling it. If we are using app.gohighlevel.com, that defeats the entire purpose. So we need to say, let's say I own a domain called myawesomeagency.com. So I, what I can do is I can create a subdomain called app.myawesomeagency.com and use that under white label domain. And don't worry, the process is really simple and I have already shown how that's done. So I'm just explaining what the white label domain is. So I create a subdomain called app.myawesomeagency.com and put it here and configure that. So if I do that, people will go to app.myawesomeagency.com and log in log into their own accounts like the sub accounts that will you'll create for those people for your clients right so your clients will be logging in under app.myawesomeagency.com instead of app.gohighlevel.com that's the point of having white label domain now api domains are pretty similar whenever you create a form a survey a calendar a funnel anything you create those will have links like those will have preview links share links those links will use Go high levels default domain unless you configure an API domain. So let's say right now it says app.leadconnector.com slash form slash you know that's that's the current setup. But if you set up API domain called links dot 
going back to my awesome agency.com this will be your domain this will be replaced by your domain so if you do this then the link will be changed to say links.myawesomeagents.com slash form slash preview slash you know whatever that is that's the whole point of having api domain so these two are very important for you to configure and this document shows how to configure that just watch this video and i don't want to waste your time in this one showing you know the stuff that i've already covered you just need to watch this video and this process you can mark as complete similarly you can also mark this one as complete once you're done checking all the settings uh, in the, on the agency level and upload the logo okay so these two are already done let's say email services configuration now for that you need to come under agency level settings and go to email services now as soon as you go to this setting it will ask you to create a dedicated domain so what that is is once we create a go high level trial account go high level configures the account to send emails and right now whatever email you send from whichever sub account let's say i have 10 sub accounts under this agency account right and i'm sending emails i'm doing email marketing i'm sending automated emails manual emails those emails will be going out from go high levels domain so it will say app.messagesender.com or you know whatever that is i don't really remember what that is you need to change that to say you know you, you need to change that to your domain so two things that will happen it will it will definitely improve your deliverability and then it will also have a brand credibility so it's not going from any random domain when you're sending an email it needs to show your brand your own domain so it needs to say info at myawesomeagency.com instead of you know message sender or any random stuff there okay so you, you get enhanced deliverability brand credibility increased control and reduce uh, you know spam flagging so you have your own domain you have control over your domain you can control the quality of your domain as well so that's why we need to set set up a dedicated subdomain on the agency level now this one you you may ask if i have a client like you know mybusiness.com and you know that that client has a domain called mybusiness.com why should he send emails from info at my agency my awesome agency.com because this is mine okay that's a fair a fair question so for that you need to do the same thing on the sub account so if the client has a sub account that sub account will also have an email services which we will look at after a few minutes there in the sub accounts you need to set up his dedicated domain the client's own dedicated domain that will that will allow him to use his domain instead of yours to send out send out emails so this video again covers how to set up a dedicated email sending subdomain on the agency level and on sub account level so go ahead and watch this and this will be marked done so that's three gone phone system configuration so this is pretty simple right now but once you get sub accounts that will that process will definitely get more complicated so here under phone integration under agency level settings we, we are still under agency level settings guys here so once you get the trial account created by default you'll have a sub account and that sub account will be your agency's sub account so the agency level account can't do anything again can't do any automations any funnel building any stuff right you need a sub account for that so they will by default create a sub account for you okay so what you need to do is you need to switch all sub accounts to lc phone so lc phone is the phone system that you will use with high level and LC phone system provides all the numbers, all the like all the SMS capabilities, voice messaging, MMS, whatever it is. LC phone system is the one that you need to use, right? Okay. So that being said, agency level phone configuration is done. So you need to configure all the sub accounts you have here to LC phone system. We don't use Twilio anymore. LC phone is Twilio, which is the company that uh, high level uses to get phone numbers from. Okay. So once, once that's done, you can, if you want to know more about LC phone system, how it works and how to do all those A2P and all those stuff, you need, you can watch this. So that, that depends on you, but I, I don't think at this point you need to know any more about LC phone system. Once you're configured, uh, once you have configured LC phone system here, that's all, all done. You can mark that as complete. So sub account for your agency. Now, by default, you don't have to create any sub account uh, in the beginning because you will be given a sub account, uh, you know, once you create the trial account, this is the sub account. So you can switch just like how I switched from the agency level to sub account level. 
and that sometimes takes time so don't worry about that sub account for your agency right so you need to create a sub account that's already done update all the required information and we will look at what the required information is so this is the sub account right you, if you want to go back to the agency level you can do that from here that will take you back to the agency level if you want to go to the sub account you can do that from here right so this is the sub account now you need to go to settings once you go to the sub account first time you need to go to business profile and make sure all these information are correct so this is the sub account setting this is uh, this is different than agency level settings whatever you have set up on the agency level don't get reflected here so you need to create a logo oh, sorry upload a logo legal business information business website you can ignore branded domains for now uh, and then business type representatives business address all those stuff will be updated here uh, on on the sub account settings level okay and then third thing you need to do on the sub account setting uh, process is download the mobile app so go to play store and download lead connector app or app store you know apple store the document has the links so don't worry about it you need to download the app and log in to your high level account use the same login that you logged uh, you, you know that you used to log in under app.gohighlevel.com with that being said sub account for your agency the fifth point is done the sixth thing you need to do is sub account integration so this you need to be on your sub account go to settings go to integrations and then you need to log in to your google so sign in with your google because this google accounts calendar will be connected with the calendars you can uh you know sign in with let me just show you how to sign in so i'll just use one of my emails and it will ask for a few information and it will ask for access and all those stuff once you approve it you can link the Google business profile. I don't have any Google business profile under this uh, email, so that's fine. And then once you do that, you need to log into your Facebook. So Facebook page, Facebook profile, Instagram, all those stuff will, can be connected from here. So let me just see what needs to be connected. Once you sign up with Google, you can connect your Google Analytics, Google Ads account, Google My Business, and then for Facebook, you can connect your Facebook page and Instagram, Facebook ad account. You can connect TikTok, LinkedIn, Slack, Workspace, Stripe. These all can be done here. So this is Google, this is Facebook, this is Stripe, LinkedIn, Slack, WhatsApp. Everything can be connected here. So this is TikTok. Everything you have will be connected. And it's a really good practice to connect as much as you can, you know, in the beginning. So that's sub account integration, integrating all the external platforms, all the external softwares that you're using, all the applications to your high level. So you're connecting high level to all these stuff, right? So that completes step six. Step seven is get a phone number. So depending on where you are operating from, if you are operating from US, you can get a US phone number. If you are operating from UK, you can get a UK phone number. For that, you need to go to sub account phone numbers this is not agent level again people get really confused uh, at the beginning which one is agency setting which is sub account setting so if if this one uh, if this toggle has a sub accounts name that means we are under sub account settings so first time we need to go to phone settings under the agency level and then configure this for lc phone right so we need to click on this and link to lead connector sometimes it doesn't get linked by default so that's why you need to do that now once we do this on the agency level go back to our sub account we will now go to settings again phone numbers and now we are on the sub account settings again so here click on add number add phone number now we can get a phone number from lc again if you are from us you can get a us phone number if you are from uk switzerland spain singapore whatever place you are from you can get a number from that but numbers do have restrictions like you can't really get a number uh just like that you need to get some process done which we will talk about now now let's talk about us like united states okay cool so let's say i want to get a phone number here so if you want to proceed to buy we'll get you a number right but you need to also okay i got the number okay so now you need to get a process done called a2p10 dlc in order to send emails sorry in order to send text messages through this number now this number has its own uh, settings and configurations that you need to go through like if the calls come to this number where do they get forwarded to uh, then you can add a whisper message you can call uh, record the call incoming call timeout outgoing call timeout it's really important that you get a2p10 dlc done 
So that's a that's an entire process that I've covered in this video with every detail as possible. This video will show you how to get A to B10 DLC done for US and Canada based phone numbers, right? For UK, you get you need to get a bundle. So let's say you want to get a UK phone number. Before you get the phone number, you need to go to regulatory bundle address and then you get to you need to get an address bundle. So fill out all this information and then what, after that you need to get a regulatory bundle, right? For a mobile number. I've covered that and I'll link that in this description as well. So don't worry about it. Okay. So once you get the numbers done, this process can be can be marked completed, right? So phone number is you know getting the phone number in the beginning it can be complicated, but the A to B process is all covered, I promise you, in this video. So go ahead and watch this from top to bottom and this process will be super easy for you. I have all the resources as well on this video that you need for the HOP setup, right? Okay, so with that being said, number seven is done. So you can mark that as complete. Now integrate agency website with sub account. What that is, is if you have an agency website, you need to go ahead and create the forms under sites and forms. You know, you can create forms here. And you can, after creating the forms, you can embed that form with your website. You can embed the calendars, chat widgets, uh, which we will cover in, in the later videos. But these things need to be connected with your website. So whenever the forms are submitted on your website, the leads come to high level. Whenever someone books an ap uh, appointment through the calendar on your website, the appointment gets created in high level and then you can do further automations. Whenever they put a message inquiry in the live chat on your website or in the chat widget on your website, you get the inquiry, you get the idea, right? So this, uh, this step can wait, but if you can get it done, you just get it done. So that's, that's a part of the agency setup. And then you can create some basic automation setup and test it. And then you can add team members to it. So basically if you want to add any team members to your high level account, you can do it in two places. First of all, you can go to the agency level setting and that's for your team members. That's for someone you want to work on your high level account, not the clients. So this is the team part. You can create a team member from here. Again, this is for someone who wants, to, who needs to work on your high level account, right? First name, last name, email, phone number, and then go to roles, make them an agency admin or user, depending on, you know, who they are and what their role is. Now, if they want, if they're a client, let's say this is a cli client sub account, then th this access is different because this person that you will add will be only added to this sub account only, not anything else. Okay. So for that, you need to go to the sub account and then go to my stuff and then create the user here. Creating the user will give this user access to this sub account only and not other sub accounts, not even the agency level. Okay, that's how you can create team members that you can that's how you can uh, create access for your clients. This is the difference, right? So guys, this is the 10 point go high level agency setup checklist. If you can get all these done, that's fine, but at least get done until step seven. Okay, so steps uh, until step seven, if you get it done, then you're all you're, you're all good to go. And also step 10 is where you add the team members. So, you know, you can add staff members, you can add clients, um, depending on their roles and they can start working on your high level account this is the agency setup process hope this was useful and uh, uh, this document can be found on my website fill out this form this will be sent to you and then you can start working on it based on the process that's it for this video guys hope you found this video useful subscribe if you found this useful and i will see you in the next one